This video explains how to use CRP5 for ratios, division and multiplication, and we are starting right now. Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. The focus of this channel is to provide solutions for IASA ATPL questions and other aviation related stuff. Let me know, in the comments section below if you are currently taking ATPL theoretical examination. This video is the second video of a series of videos explaining the usage of CRP5 computer face. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing to my channel, and click on the bell icon to get notified when I published a new video. The first operation that we will look into is ratios. CRP5 can be used to solve ratios problem easily and quickly. In fact, ratios are the basis of all operations involving the outer and inner scale. To understand this, let's say A over B is equal to X over Y. The white arc on the screen represent outer and inner scale. To the top of the white line represent the outer scale and to the bottom represent the inner scale. The arrangement of the variables on the outer and inner scales are shown on the screen. As you can see the arrangement of variables in the formula is directly reflected onto the scales. To better understand the concept, let look at an example. 25, over 8, equal to, x, over 9.5. Find, x. The first step for any operations using CRP5, is to make a rough estimate of the answer, in order to establish where the decimal point will be. 25 is approximately 8 times 3. Thus, x is approximately 9 times 3, 27. The second step is to use CRP5 to find the answer. The arrangement of the given variables, is as shown on the screen. Locate 25, on the outer scale. Turn the CRP5, so that 25 will be on top. Next, align the cursor with 25. Locate 8, on the inner scale. Rotate inner scale, to align 8 with 25. Locate 9.5, on the inner scale. Align the cursor to 9.5 read off the answer on the outer scale opposite to 9.5 29.7 we now know x is equal to 29.7 however to get the final answer we first need to confirm with the approximate value our approximate value is 27 29.7 is within the ballpark of 27. Thus, the final answer is x equal to 29.7. The second operation that we will look into is division. Let's say, a divided by b, is equal to, x. We can rearrange the equation into, a over b, is equal to, x. Or, a over b, is equal to, x over 1. Doesn't this look like ratios? Yes, it is. Thus, we can arrange the variables on the outer and inner scale the same way as ratios. Since there is no number 1 marker on CRP5, we will use the blue number 10 index instead. To further understand division, let's take a look at an example. 254, divide by 9, equal to x. Find, x. The first step is to approximate the answer. 250, divide by 10, is equal to 25. Thus, x is approximately 25. The second step, is to plug in the variables into CRP5 to find the answer. We rewrite the problem as 254, over 9, equal to, x, over 1. The arrangement of the variable should look like this. Locate. 254 on the outer scale. Turn CRP5, so that, 254 is on top. Align the cursor with 254. Find 9, on the inner scale. Rotate the inner scale, and align 9 with the cursor. Align the cursor with the blue 10 index, 
on the inner scale. Read off the answer on outer scale opposite to 10 index. It is 28.2. From CRP5 operation we know X is equal to 28.2. To confirm the answer, we need to check back with the approximate value. Approximate value is 25. Thus, 28.2 is in the same ballpark as 25. The answer will be X equal to 28.2. The third operation that we will look into, is multiplication. Let's say, a times b, equal to x. We can rearrange the equation into, a equal to, x over b. Or, a over 1, equal to, x over b. Now that we have converted the equation into ratios, we can arrange the variables onto CRP5 as shown on the screen. Since there is no number 1 marker on CRP5, we will use the Bloom number 10 index instead. To further understand multiplication, let's take a look at an example. 88 times, 4.8 equal to, x. Find x. The first step is to approximate the answer. 90 times 5 equal to 450. Thus, x is approximately 450. The second step is to plug in the variables into CRP5 to find the answer. We rewrite the problem as 88 over 1 equal to x over 4.8. The arrangement of the variable should look like this. Locate 88 on the outer scale. Align the cursor with 88. Align the Bloom number 10 index on the inner scale with 88. Locate 4.8 on the inner scale. Turn the CRP5 so that, 4.8 will be on the top. Align the cursor to 4.8 on the inner scale. Read off the answer on outer scale opposite to 4.8. It is 42.2. From CRP5 operation we know X is equal to 42.2. To confirm the answer. We need to check back with the approximate value. Approximate value is 450. 42.2 is well below 450. The answer should be 422, not 42.2. X is equal to 422. If you want to learn more about ATPL or aviation, start now by hitting the round subscribe icons. Also, if you have any questions or comments about ATPL or aviation related problems, you can leave them in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.